And what about very old friends? You gotta catch these ones. Go, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Bubbles! Oh no! I've always said that I love you because you don't surprise me. I <laughs> <laughs> but I mean that in the best possible way. Even when we got engaged, it wasn't really a surprise because you always told me that we would. I didn't know what day it would happen or where, but to me, it was never in doubt because you've always made sure I know how much you love me. So blessed to have Bella and Finn and I know they're the best thing to have happened to us and my love for them is something completely different but I fall in love with you more every day that you are there dad. From the moment they were born you've done more for them and for our family than I could imagine any man doing. I watch you love them so fiercely, you make them laugh uncontrollably, you're with them every second in every challenge, you've made the happiest little babies and when it's tough you just wipe the slate clean and start again every night before we fall asleep you tell me I just love them so much and I know that there's nobody who will ever love them like you and I'd marry you every day just for that reason you're not afraid of a challenge and you help me find the light at every tunnel we're so lucky to have you and I'm so proud of you and I'm so glad we found each other I could not hope to meet someone as caring, as loving and selfless as you. You put me and the kids before you in almost every decision. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got it. Every decision you make. I love you. I love everything that makes you you. And nothing says Bethany more than your smile. I have always said that it's the most beautiful thing in the world. And I'll keep on saying it, even if it, what, even when all that's left is gums and dentures. <laughs> <laughs> How amazing does she look today? You brought these two little angels into the world and didn't meet, miss a beat, nor have you since. I think I can speak on behalf of both of them when I say that you're the best mummy. And, all, all, and for all my joking and lightheartedness, I don't take for granted the sacrifices you have became, you've made becoming a mummy. And I now must ask you to sacrifice what remains of your dignity and marry me. <laughs> I have the greatest of pleasure in pronouncing you husband and wife, and you can kiss your wife.
Bethany, I love you. I'm proud to be your husband. I'm proud to be the dad of our children. I wouldn't be the person I am today without you.